Thank you, Mr. President, and I want to congratulate uh, the Rapporteur, Mr. De Rossa, on his excellent report. As a member of the Petitions Committee, I'm always very conscious of the fact that for many EU citizens, we are the face of the EU. And when I say we, I mean the Petitions Committee itself and the Commission who evaluates the petitions. In this particular instance, the complainant was effectively ignored and the Ombudsman's verdict was that, was that this constituted maladministration. And I am pleased to see that the Rapporteur and the Petitions Committee agree with his position. European citizens have a right to expect that the Commission, as guardians of the treaty, will ensure that European legislation is implemented in a timely and effective way. As I said, they have the right to expect a timely response as well as an effective one. And while the Commission has discretion as to how to proceed in a certain case, that is, whether they instigate infringement proceedings or not, they do not have the discretion to fail to adopt a position within a reasonable amount of time, and that was the case in this matter. With regard to Amendment 1, it is a matter that needs to be dealt with, but I believe separately from this report. Finally, just a personal comment on the work of the Petitions Committee. As I said, sending in a petition for many citizens is their only contact with the EU institutions. It is crucial that this system works in an effective and transparent manner. The Commission is part of the process, but so also is the Parliament, and we must ensure that sufficient resources are available to the Committee to carry out of work, its work in an effective and timely way. And to fully understand this, I believe we need to put ourselves in the shoes of a petitioner and see it from their perspective. As an individual or a small group, they are taking on the system. If the system does not respond in an effective way, they see us as a bureaucratic nightmare and we alienate the petitioner and probably everybody they speak to about the matter. For the sake of citizens and the EU, I think we must not do this.